is the last part. Part three of that same Goodwill Ben's trip. 120 pounds. This is the end of it. Hopefully you've caught part one and part two. If you haven't, I'll link them for you. You know I will. Without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Cue that intro. What's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lies. I save clothes. I save all the things. I've done that intro three times. Thumbs up for that. Okay. My chair is squeaky. I am so sorry. All right. I got one giant bin left. I'm sniffling in this video because the dust has flown. Girl, the dust. Like it does in all the videos. These clothes are just so dusty from the bins. I mean, they all need shook. Shook. I'm sugar. I'm sugar at all the things that I found us. So I'm sniffling. <laughs> I'm so sorry in advance for all the sniffling and the squeaky chair. If you didn't watch the first video, you don't know what this background is. Well, this background, I found it in the bins. Peel and stick wallpaper. That's usually 30 something dollars a roll. And I found enough to do my whole little wall here. So yay. Okay, here we go. It was a hundred and if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It was 120 pounds. Never count the, I never counted the pieces, but I found some really, really great stuff. And I feel like this bin has all the vintage, which means we're about to find some designer stuff. Okay, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do this bag first because there's not very much stuff left in here. Alrighty, okay. These are... Zumba. Zumba wear. So if you go to Zumba, they say love on the butt. They're new with tags. Zumba wear. Little joggers. Little cute Zumba joggers in a size medium. Uh, it's a size marvelous medium. They're cropped joggers. Cute. Okay. This is Kinsey, size large. I think that's sold at Macy's or Nordstrom or TJ Maxx. That's my kid. Beaded neck, little tapestry looking. <laughs> like a, you know, baby doll dress. I don't know, like, a, I don't know how to describe this other than I thought it was really cute. I mean, maybe it's really ugly and not cute, but I just felt like it was like very vintage. Like I got to see someone slicking their hair up in a really tight bun with a red lip and some Mary Janes. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Smoking one of those really long cigarettes <laughs> with like a netting in, in, across the eye, you know, like a little, I don't know. I just seen it. When I seen this, that's what I see. So that's so weird. I'm weird. Stay weird. <laughs> I am weird. That's why me and Jen get along so well. <laughs> Okay, ask through the label. This is really cute. I found this my first trip because I was looking at it while I was talking to Michelle and I was like, but there's a little stain. I think it's just um, lipstick, but it's really a cute dress. I'll wash it, we'll see. Ask through the label, it's a cream, off the shoulder, smocked waist, little ruffle, high low dress, very cute. It needs to go in the wash pile. Okay, BG, 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 BX, by <laughs> BCBG, Max Azria. This is the second piece that I hauled of this at the bins. Extra small. I don't know why I got it. Just because it said that name. It's this blue scroll pattern, flowy skirt. This is cashmere. I checked it twice for holes. And Taylor cashmere, extra small. I didn't see any holes. It's a pretty nice thick cashmere. It's like a burgundy red. Gosh, these lights are giving me a headache. This, I just grabbed this because it said cashmink. And I thought, oh, that's gonna be cashmere, but it's not. It's a black scarf. It's 
not cashmere. It's really soft, but it's not. It's acrylic. So I don't know if that's any good. This is REI Extra Small Women's. It's this long sleeve undershirt. There's a this does have like a small blue flick of something on there. I don't know what that is, like nail polish or something. These are women's Nike Golf Dry Fit, size six. A little blue, really nice Nike Golf shorts. These are new with tag, Liz Golf, size six. So same, oh, these aren't shorts. This is Liz Claiborne Sport Golf. It's a golf skirt. It's blue, it's got pockets. It's got all these tags and buttons galore. It's like $55, Liz Golf, size six, right now. You know, people love their golf. Not I, said the fly, but hey, you do you. MJ Sophie. Have you heard of that? I haven't. And under normal circumstances, I never would have picked up these gray plain shorts at the bins. But the tag intrigued me. MJ Sophie. Soft? MJ Soft? Size large, made in the USA. So my... They came from North Carolina. 90% cotton. My first instinct was... Maybe these were good. My second instinct was, well, even if they're not, I'm going to wear these. They're like a high waist. They have pockets. And the cotton on them is so nice. I don't know. They have that drawstring in the inside. So I feel like, you know, these looks might look silly to somebody. But I will happily wear these to lounge around. Unless you tell me that this is such a good brand. I meant to look that up before we got started, but I forgot. Sorry. Um, Valerie by Valerie Stevens. I don't get that usually, but it's 100% pure new wool. 100% extra fine merino wool. Size large. Made in Hong Kong. Is this vintage? Might be. It's just gray, dark charcoal gray, long duster with pockets. And I'm, I looked it over for holes. And I didn't see any, but who knows. Now, this is in really great shape. So, I don't know. Maybe it's worth something. Look how cute this scarf is. Doesn't that look like it's, um, what's that brand? Oh, you know. What's it called? Oh, I could just wear it like this. What's that brand called? Their vintage jackets are so good. Wool. So, Pendleton. Doesn't this look like a Pendleton scarf? I love this scarf. I don't know the brand. It's, I don't even think it's anything really good. I think it's Wallflower or something like that. I don't know. But this print. Yes. All day long I'm here for that. I'm going to take that off now. Now it's got my makeup on it. <sighs> okay, this cloth and stone, size medium. It's white. I never should have got this, probably. I know I'm going to find something wrong with it. I don't see anything yet, but I'm sure I will. It's one of those, like, Lyocell tops. Okay, size large. Exhilaration, so it's Target. It's really cute, a little daisy bikini top. New with tags, the single. This is a Speedo. I picked this up thinking that Jean and Michelle would eventually join me at the bins this trip. <laughs> and then they sent, they texted me back and said, oh, we were just there yesterday and got way too much. We can't come. Well, you snooze, you lose, Michelle. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'll probably still give that to Michelle, maybe, unless it's got really good pumps. I'll, I mean, I'm going to end up sitting on that till next year anyways. It'll go into my two-list bathing suit pile. Okay. Next is this Land's End size 8. This is a one-piece, so, like, it's, you know, only one piece. So, this isn't missing its other piece. It's a high-waisted, ribbed, black bikini bottom, bottom by Land's End. 
their bathing suits are such high quality. Such high quality. Now this, I believe this is some type of vintage swimsuit. It's called Less, jeez, wish I could read. Okay, Less Steinhardt. So I can show you this part of the tag because the whole thing won't fit in there. So that says Steinhardt, Less Steinhardt, made in, no, Less Steinhardt, Los Angeles, made in USA. This is old. It's got to be. Either that or they're remaking a vintage look because look at this. Isn't that fun? Wait, that's, is that the back or the front? Girl. Oh, no, that's the front. So the front looks like this. And it's got these like little chains, little click chains but they're fabric and then it's a high-waisted bottom, cheeky bottom. Is it, this is old, right? Los Angeles. I'm going to look it up. Okay. All of those bathing suits, I would, well, the vintage, both the Speedo and that vintage one, I would have gave to Jean Michelle. They were there. There was a bunch of things I picked up, like a bag full of vintage buttons. <laughs> I'm not showing those in the hall, but I would have gave to them if they were there. Rachel, Rachel Roy, size 18, right? Or 20, 18 W. It's a jean skirt. I'm definitely going to list that. This is so cute. This is Raviriza, Rabia. 100% cotton, made in India. It's this tag. It's cotton. It's all embroidered. See? It's all over. So it's like caftan. Maxi caftan type. With all these embroidered flowers. The tassel. I love this. This is a Lucky Brand Venice Burnout. Lucky brand, 5XL, yes. It's a sweatshirt, a 5X women's sweatshirt with the king of, king of sp spades. The king of diamonds, wow. <laughs> it's the king of diamonds and he's a skull. So that's perfect for Halloween. I need to put that on right now. This is Ava and Viv, size 3X. Also Target, but it's very cute, like a little Swiss dot, you know, sheer blouse. Really cute. Okay, I found all this new with tag swimsuit for all stuff. So they're all three size 20. So I'm going to put it all together, I think. Swimsuits for all size 20. This is the shorts. So there are just these shorts. New with tag. And then... Here's the top. Those were black shorts and this is pink. It's got the built-in bra and this black and pink cuffed bottom. That's the top, new with tags. And then look at these fun pants, size 20, swimsuit for all. These are like, you know, you put them on like really thin, sheer cotton, uh, cover-up pants or like some cover-up pants. I know. Oh, they were new with tags. So I was like, yeah, okay. This is a 1X, just MTA sport, but I thought that was a good size. Mesh back sports bra. Cute. I grabbed it. This is, says, the spelling on this. Dear clamps. Dear froems. Like this is straight up from Wish on Amazon. But I didn't care. New with tags. Don't even care about the brand. The fact that it's brandless. It's a tie-dye t-shirt. Super soft. Jumpsuit. Cinches at the waist. Pockets. Drawstring. Cinch. Jogger. The perfect lounge outfit right now. I'll sell it for $25. Someone wants that one piece tie-dye cozy set. And it's a China, you know, 
the china sizing medium so maybe it fits normal this is chico size two this shirt says wrinkle resistant all those wrinkles there determine that that is a lie but it it'll probably shake out nice it's got polka dots and stripes it's blue and white it feels crispy and new okay loft size four this yellow and white strapless sundress does it have pockets it does not have pockets exposed zipper very i'm i'm sure this is linen it feels like linen it's perfect for the vacation the beach vacation what are these oh this is baby 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 Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Uh, very, very high waisted, tight pencil skirt in size. Medium. That goes way up there. You know, you tuck in a shirt and you wear it right underneath your boob. It's cute. I think that brand's expensive, but I don't know what it sells like. I don't find it very often. Okay, this is called Vintage Havana. I've never bought this either, but this is cute. I've never heard of Vintage Havana. I have no idea where it's sold, but this was cotton star print joggers shorts. So it's like loungewear. My dogs are trotting. You hear them? It's like a loungewear jumpsuit. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. I can't wait to look it up. I it will always experiment at the bins. That is the best place to do it. This is Ecote, which is Urban Outfitters. This is like, ooh, okay, I think it's damaged. What is this string for? Yes, it is damaged. Well, that stinks. So I'm pretty sure this string went across the back here. Yep, it did. Maybe I can fix that. I probably won't though. Anyways, it's like a off the shoulder, really slouchy. V's in the back, like a dip back, but then it's a romper. It is a romper, like, so, like loungewear, shorts, I don't know. Maybe I'll look at the style number, see how it looks on the model, get an idea for what it sells for, and then decide if I want to fix that string. I think it just needs to be sewed across. This is cute. I don't think this is anything fancy, but it's perfect for Christmas. Almost famous size medium. I think that's sold at Kohl's. But it didn't matter to me because this is adorable. It is very Aztec, very Bohemian. It's like this little caftan, shrug, open, waterfall, all of those key, key words that I'm using. It's very Bohemian. Uh, and it's cinched back there. I love that feature. That little cinching gives a nice little, brings, gives you a tuck in. Anyways, we're moving on from that. What, did I tell you what size that was? That was a size medium. Really cute. Super cute. This is Calvin Klein. It's ribbed. I got it for my kid. Size medium. Just a gray ribbed tee. But it's super soft and cute. And I thought if she knotted it in the front with some high-waisted jeans. And she loves to wear flannels. She's obsessed with flannels. I thought that that would be a cute plain ribbed shirt to go underneath the flannel. So. Okay. This is Wallflower. I got this for me because it says wave, sand, and sun rays. And we, fun fact, we like to go on cruises every year. I think my cruise, my cruising has come to an end and I don't know what's going to happen. We had to cancel our cruise. Actually, our cruise got canceled. We were getting ready to leave next month in November, like we do every year. <laughs> oh, it's never going to be the same. Anyways, moving on. Air Apostle, high-waisted shorty. Did I tell you what size those were? They are a four. They're embroidered with patches. They are so cute. These are Old Navy Rockstar Jeggings in literally brand new condition. They're crispy and everything. Size 18. They have that waistband. They're the jegging. Like a medium dark wash. Love those. 
I got these for myself. They literally don't even have a brand. They just say large 100% cotton. <laughs> but I thought they were cute. So I'll try them on. Got these vintage Levi's. Oh, I love these. So someone cut them. They are 550. They're all like distressed around the waist. Love them. Okay. Okay. This, I just grabbed this little tote. I always grab little totes. It's American Eagle. American Eagle. So if someone buys jeans, I will send them a tote. I do this. If I find stuff in the bins that like it's a bag that goes with it or whatever, then I will um, keychain, a headband. I will throw it in with an order as a surprise. Under Armour, size 34. These are men's. I see those giant stains. I have no idea what that is. Hopefully it's just like sweat. I can just wash that out because other than that, they're a perfect golf short. I don't sell men's stuff very often. I have a ton of it. I am going to do men's boxes though. I have made a decision. I just need a little bit of time to get it all together and come up with a video. This is Bonobos. Uh, I got this a pair of shorts the last time I was at the bin. Bonobos is a pineapple novelty print. Bonobos shirt for men, size medium, tailored slim fit. Um, I got these because I think Michelle and G talk about this brand and I was, I put it in my cart for them, but they weren't there. Solomon ski pants. I'm going to look these up and see. These seem really nice. Like They've got all these buttons and tactical things and zippers and I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Maybe I'm missing out. If I'm not interested, then I'll just give them to G and Michelle. I'll put them in my car and then I'll give them to them. We'll see. But I might do men's boxes. So, okay. Canary, San Diego, California. Size extra large. These are bike shorts. Canary. Says Los Angeles. So I'm assuming this is probably a good brand. I know nothing about biking, guys. Look at me. Do I look like I'm a biker? I've got this $2,000 Tour de France behind me. <laughs> I never get on it. Okay. Um, yeah, but these are biking shorts, extra large. Canary. They're probably good. They got that nice butt padding inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. A few more mins, and then the rest is vintage, and you guys are going to love my stuff. I just know it. So if you like vintage, stick around to the end. It's coming. North Face. Uh, this was like in perfect condition. Men's size medium. Super soft. Black. Plain black fleece. Harley Davidson. This one was really cool. Harley Davidson. Jamaica. Gee, this would have been for you. But you didn't come. Look at that tropical background so are you in a men's box these are nike golf men size 36 30 You've got that nice little lining these are like literally perfect condition they have the pleats they're that silky whatever fit that is dry fit or whatever nike fit dry 36 30 perfect condition i don't know these people just throw away their clothes i don't don't understand it but i love it Okay, I got this belt. I don't know if this is vintage, but it says made in the USA, so maybe it is. But regardless, it's like black here, and then it has like this arrow closure. And then this is 100% leather. It's like a black leather. So the tag back there is what it says. Made in the USA, 100% leather, or genuine leather. So I don't know, there's no size. I don't know. I wish, I wish, I wish I could find a brand on these, but I can't. I don't know if they're silk or polyester or what, but gosh, they are fabulous. They are these really, really, really high-waisted green MC Hammer pants. I mean, very parachute -y. Pockets, they have these gold buttons with elephants on them. The zipper says Talon. Talon zipper. I don't know. I was looking for a YKK. See if it was expensive. Maybe 
talent. Anyways, they're like a silk parachute, high-waisted pant in that beautiful green color. They have no information inside. It's killing me because I want to know so bad. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what's coming. If you don't, prepare to have your mind blown. So there was these bags in the bins and they look like this. I mean, just made in Italy, made in Switzerland, made in Western Germany. So these were the bags and in each one of these bags were leather gloves. And I, I mean, obviously these are really old. So I knew that these were all vintage gloves. So I'm just grabbing them because the last time I grabbed gloves, they ended up being seal skin. I got $100 for them. I mean, with some other things, I sold them for $100 off of Posh. So that was great. Hi, if you're watching. Thank you. I hope you love them. Um, yeah. So I was like, I'm grabbing these no matter what. And so these are brown ones. I I can't find any information in these. There is a number. I'm going to look it up in the something trademark and there's a number but apart from that size seven and a half yeah size seven and a half I can't make out any symbols in here so these are brown leather size seven and a half some type of glove these are like a cream but they're not leather they're like a felt almost I don't know what this is cashmere might be cashmere I don't know what this is I don't know, but they're a cream glove. And I don't think these had any information either. And I took them out of the package. And I don't remember which package they belong to. So, yay me. Anyways, these aren't that exciting. So, those gloves. So, then, these were in the one that said made in Italy. Brown, long leather, size, what size are you? Size 7. And I flipped, I was looking for a brand. I flipped it down and it said this. Christian Dior. Now, grant <laughs> Christian Dior vintage leather gloves. I did not discover that these, I just picked them up because literally this weighs nothing. Like I didn't even probably pay five cents. I died. When I'm at home flipping down, like I just thought they were like vintage leather gloves. I was gonna get like $25 for them whatever these say made in france expressly for the win it block company winalt block company i don't know i can't read that but yeah christian dior very soft long slinky leather when i came home and spread that under i like i went like this i was like ah and i went running around the house and my family was like what is wrong with you and i'm like they're christian dior I was so excited. It really made my night. And I had already found all this other great stuff. So it was just the icing on the cake. Victoria's Secret Vintage Gold Label 100% Silk. Michelle, this was for you. <laughs> it's green. It's perfect for Christmas. I might list this since I already have it here. But yeah, 100% Silk. I don't see any hole. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's some holes in it. I don't know. Do you still sell? Michelle, do I still sell this? It's got a few pinholes in it. Would you still sell it? Yes or no? If you would, tell me. If you wouldn't, you can have it. <laughs> Did you like that one? Okay, this is a vintage silk. It's got rolled edges and it says something about Canada. Yeah, Niagara Falls with all these cool graphics. Isn't that cool? I'm pretty sure this is vintage because those edges are rolled and I'm pretty sure it's silk, but I can't be 100% sure of anything. You know why guys? Because I do not know, but I thought regardless, it seemed pretty cool, but there's no like, it doesn't say silk anywhere, but those edges are rolled edges. And it doesn't give me a year or a, a maker. But it's in good shape. I think there was like one pinhole in this and a couple snags here and there. But it was still a cool scarf. This is like totally 90s, this dress. 
This is by Erica's Place, size medium, made in the Philippines. Very vintage 90s floral dress with that little flounce hem. Oh, it's so cute and vintage. <laughs> okay, these are vintage crop tops. So the first one didn't have a tag, but then in the bin right beside it was another one. And then I seen the label and I was like, okay, okay. These are made in the USA. They're size large. They're the same exact size. That's the tag. It's called Color Trend Fashion. See that really fun? These are probably 90s, early 2000s maybe, I don't know. But they're like a heavy 100% cotton. There's blue and purple and they're crop tops, vintage ones. These, okay, so if you watched my first part of the haul, I found the best 100% wool J. Crew, the Cafe Capri or whatever they were called, plaid, houndstoothy type of pants. But then, it just let me know how current, like these, like how styles have came back. Like I, I, I found these in the bins. There was, there was no information, guys. I'm going with, this is like an extra small probably, but this is gonna sit high on the waist. There's no fabric content. They smell super old. I hope I don't find any holes. I'm gonna give them a nice wash. But these are bell bottoms. They're houndstooth. They're a brown, tan, and baby blue. Oh my gosh, they remind me of Clueless in a way. Like, totally does. Like, share with the little furry vest and that little hat she wore. I can just see her wearing these. Anyways, uh, high waist. It's elastic, so, and the elastic does not sound like it has rotten in it. But look at them. Super bell, bell bottom. Bell bottom little, and they're cuffed. These are the cutest vintage pants I've ever seen. I feel like someone handmade them. There's no tags, there's no nothing, but they're in great shape and I'm here for it. All right, almost done. We're almost done. This one's gonna go over. Um, this little vintage purse, it's like a, how do you carry this? Like this, hello. Anyways, it's just like woven. I think it's vintage, it's made with yarn. One of these yarns right there is coming loose. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like fix that or cut it. This one's a little bit loose too, but I thought it was really cute. It's got these claws on the bottom, like the four, and then in the inside, it's perfect. It's like satin or silk. There's no brand, no information. It's definitely old, definitely. Okay, then I found this vintage bomber jacket by RNY Sport, size medium. It reminds me of the Chicago Bears, but it's not, but it's the Bears color. So navy, orange, and white-ish cream. It's nylon, totally 80s. Love that. I think my kid wants it, so I'll probably let her have it. And then a scarf. This just got peacocks and birds and parrots. Fun. Fun peacock. Uh, what are those called? You know those ones with the beaks? Oh my gosh, that's gonna drive me nuts. You know, like the guy on the Fruit Loops box. Toucan Sam. It's just a fun, big, huge scarf. That's it. We did it, 35 minutes. That's it. I got 120 pounds of the bins. You have seen it all. Part one, part two, that was part three. That's the end. If you're interested in anything, send me a message on Instagram and we'll make a deal. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of work to do. This is a lot of washing, a lot of steaming, a lot of hanging, a lot of listing, a lot of photographing. I'm not going to the bins anymore, guys. That's it. That's it. I gotta work now. I gotta work. Work, 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 work. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for getting through it. I love you so much. Thanks for all your support. I'll see ya in my next one. And I, I, I hopefully it's gonna be a wet sold.
Are you excited? I'm gonna do them. I decided I'm gonna do them, but it probably won't be till November. You know why? Because I haven't listed anything hardly, like only like 10 things in, the, in this whole month. I've not been selling very much stuff. So I gotta get to work and stop shopping so much. Story of my life. I love ya. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.